Hello guys, so Filament 4 beta version is already out and if you go to Filament Docs, you have this new menu item here on top. I witnessed that in live mode on the stage of Laravel Live UK where Dan Harin released that version. And then when I got back to the hotel, I immediately tried it out and I want to show you four features. For now, just four features. There are plenty of new things that we will discuss over upcoming weeks and months on the channel. But for now, four kind of highlights for myself. Not necessarily the most important features for everyone, but important in my opinion. And at the end of this video, I will show you how to update to Filament 4 Beta. I remind you, this is still a beta. I don't advise to use on production, but the new features are pretty impressive. The first big improvement in Filament 4, in my opinion, is speed of rendering tables. Just by default, you don't need to install or configure anything. Just in Filament 4, tables will work faster. And I had an experiment a few months ago on this channel where I had a table with 10,000 rows from the database and 100 of them visible, which was pretty slow just because of the amount of blade views rendered. And if we open the Laravel debug bar and zoom it in, 1.5 seconds and 100 views rendered. So it's not even slowness because of SQL query or Eloquent, it's just rendering the blade views. So this part in Filament 4 was completely redone from scratch and now table is rendered differently. So I tried to upgrade that exact project to Filament 4 beta and at the end of this video I will show you exactly how to do that. And the same table in Filament 4 looks like this. If I refresh and the timing is, let's zoom in, 685 milliseconds. And the main thing is only four blade views rendered. But what you need to know is that tables by default will be much faster. So 590 milliseconds, 460 is probably caching now, which makes it even faster. So 450, 440, 470, but basically half a second. Instead of in version 3, we have 1.5 seconds. In fact, let's refresh it and yeah, 1.5, once again, 1.3. So basically, it's two to three times faster just out of the box. Of course, it depends on the size of the table and the amount of rows. But yeah, feature number one is not even a feature, it's improvement for table rendering speed. And there were more improvements for performance. I will not demonstrate them in this video, but for example, if you have a modal window in the table, that modal would re-render the full table because that's how Livewire works, re-rendering the full component. So in Filament 4, there's a thing called partial rendering, which under the hood powers how modal windows work differently. So they are rendering only the part that they need to refresh, which makes the whole experience in Filament with tables and modals much more smooth. The next feature in Filament 4 Beta is the table source might not be eloquent. So here's an example. Disney characters, the table with their names coming from external API. So this is a random API I found on internet public. You just call the Disney API.dev and it returns you the list of characters. And this is the source. Custom page of Filament called characters and then table records coming from HTTP client API data. Of course, there are many more features like pagination and you can do a lot more stuff, but just on the surface, it's easy to build a table with the data coming from external API with records. So there's no eloquent model involved here. It's a custom page. It's not a filament resource because, well, you cannot build a full resource, a CRUD for external API. So it's a custom page. And you can read again more about that in the official documentation. And I will put on the links related in the description below. The next new feature in Filament 4 is nested resources. And people were waiting for that for quite a while. So for example, if you have categories resource and then inside you have products like this, you can edit product and look at how it looks. The URL, categories, ID, products, ID, edit. Then there's the list of breadcrumbs and you can navigate to products, for example, which will open the same category. So in this way, you can manage parent and child resources in one parent resource. In the code, you can achieve that by providing parent resource property in the child resource like this. And then in this case, in the category resource, we have relation manager and there are a few more things to configure and it depends on how exactly you want that to work 
but it's relatively simple to achieve that in version 4. And the final feature I want to show in this video for now, as I said, just four features. It's rich editor improvements. So they switched the rich editor from tricks to tip tap editor, which in itself opens a lot of possibilities with tip tap extensions. But I want to emphasize two new features, which makes filament closer to typical CMS projects for more convenient editing. For example, in the editor, you can add merge tags. So you can define, for example, some variable that would be rendered from the database or elsewhere, and you can drag that here or just start typing and it would reference the merge tag like category yep like this category description like this and then you define how it is rendered on the front end when that text is displayed and then also there's another thing called blocks where can you define a bigger block of html for example and you can drag and drop it inside of the editor and you will have a preview which you can power by blade so for example in the text if you want to add some banner or some repeating snippet or something like that you can define the blocks for that in the code in the form and by the way this is how it looks in v4 in the product resource you define the form with separate product form configure but in this case rich editor you just define merge tags you define custom blocks and each block may be defined as a separate class where you have two preview html and you have a separate blade with something like this. Again, of course, there are many more features to configure and how would it look on the front end, but so that you know that the feature is available in Filament 4. So yeah, as I said, four new features, but there are many, many more available, and I'm pretty sure I will have busy summer and autumn to review all of them, but you can read more about new features in the kind of official feature overview by Leandro. It's very long. And again, I will shoot more videos about it on this channel. So I will kind of visualize that feature overview step by step in videos in the future. So subscribe to the channel. And also one of my tasks when it's out of beta, it's to update filamentexamples.com projects, which are currently in version three. There will still remain a version three branch probably in the repository and I will create maybe separate branch. Not sure yet, but it will be available in Filament 4 in the autumn. But again, I will link all the related articles in the description below. And now, as I promised in the beginning of this video, how to upgrade. Let's try to upgrade Filament 3 project to Filament 4. And for that, they have upgrade script. And here I have that table project, table version 3. And you can see on the dashboard, it's 3.3.5 and let's try to follow the upgrade instruction. First, you need to configure the composer to allow the beta version, which you can do manually, for example, in the composer JSON. At the very bottom, there's minimum stability, which is stable. You need to change that to beta. Next, we'll run composer require and we run vendor bin filament four. It's not a filament package, it's filament upgrade package, which we will uninstall after we're done with it. So we'll run this from the terminal. And now the question is, please provide the folders to upgrade. And we just leave it blank and we allow it to process our app folder by default. So app filament and all the folders for filament for syntax. Complete it successfully. Let's close the sidebar so you would see that on the left. And after that, you just compose a require filament four with no update and then run composer update. So compose require, let's do exactly that and then run composer update. It is successful. And now if we just refresh our page, we see version four and we should probably see a faster table. Yep, right away, half a second with a bit more colorful button that represents v4. So yeah, this is how upgrade guide works. If it works for you for the first time, maybe you will encounter some issues, then please report them to the team. And for example, there are separate notes for Windows PowerShell. And of course, read the full upgrade guide. And also keep in mind, it's still beta version. So there may be bugs or inconsistencies, but you can start playing around. In the future videos, I will discuss the structure of the new version four. Here it is in the docs. And we will talk a lot about, for example, about schemas, which is a new concept in filament four to allow to reuse a lot of stuff. So yeah, again, subscribe to the channel to get all those future videos. What do you think about V4? Will you hurry to use that? Or will you wait for a stable release? Let's discuss it all in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.